If you are watching this video, you probably have seen the Mel Tucker news. It's a whole mess, and regardless of how it ends, I think enough has been revealed to conclude that Mel Tucker's time at Michigan State University is over with. So, who are some options to replace him? Let's talk about a few of my favorite candidates. Hartline is probably my favorite candidate here. In case you're unaware, he was the Ohio State wide receivers coach for a couple years and was promoted to offensive coordinator prior to the current season. Also, in case you're unaware, the Buckeyes have produced insane amounts of wide receiver talent recently with guys like Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Jackson Smith and Jigba, and Marvin Harrison Jr. That's not a coincidence. Still only 36, Hartline is a super exciting young coach and also one that has plenty of actual in-game experience. He played receiver in the NFL for seven years and had two 1,000-yard seasons. It's possible that Hartline would want to stay at Ohio State if there's a possibility of Ryan Day getting fired and him taking over, but we'll see. A highly, highly interesting candidate. Moving on. This one is probably a pipe dream. Colin DeBoer has been very successful at Washington so far, and I could definitely see him just wanting to stay put. If it was possible to steal him away though, that would be a home run hire for the Spartans. The Huskies have been electric with him at the helm, and Michael Penix Jr. looks like the real deal. The coach seems to be a great offensive mind, and if MSU could snatch his talents away from Washington, that would get me really excited. The Spartans probably have more money and resources to play around with than the Huskies do, so it could happen. Here's a familiar face. Pat Narduzzi was Michigan State's defensive coordinator for seven years, up until 2014. He led some straight-up elite defensive unit to MSU, and I think plenty of fans wouldn't mind having him back. He is currently the head coach at the University of Pittsburgh, who the Spartans beat in the Peach Bowl two years ago. His tenure with Pittsburgh hasn't been outstanding, but he's been solid. Narduzzi isn't a young coach by any means, considering he's 57, but an intriguing option nonetheless with plenty of hometown ties. Chris Kleiman seems like he'd be a great hire as well. He won four, count them, four national championships at FCS Powerhouse in North Dakota State. Then, he was hired by Kansas State in 2018 and has enjoyed a good run there so far. Kansas State went to the Sugar Bowl in 2022, and in general, the teams he's led have had plenty of success. If Kleiman took his talents to East Lansing, I'd be pretty happy with it. Seems like a very solid coach who, who can make a lot of noise with some resources at his disposal. This is an interesting one. Lance Leipold is currently head coach at Kansas, where he's totally rejuvenated a bottom feeder. Before Kansas, he won a whole mess of championships in Division III ball. Unfortunately, he is nearly 60, and we haven't seen sustained Division I success. That said, he's done a lot considering the resources he's had to work with, and this would be a very intriguing hire for the Spartans. This is a pretty new name floating around with regard to head coaching jobs. Sean Lewis was head honcho at Kent State for a few years, and while they never did much, that's a very difficult place to win. He was since hired to be Colorado's offensive coordinator for 2023, and, well, you've seen the results so far. It would admittedly be risky to hire a guy who just doesn't have that much of a track record to go off, especially after only two good games as offensive coordinator. But regardless, the Colorado offense is looking great, and if a 37-year-old coach continues to impress, I would definitely like this hire. Here's a prominent option who's already with the program. Hawkins started wide receiver for the Spartans in the 80s and 90s, and then played nine years in the NFL. He's been an excellent wide receivers coach for the Spartans since he was hired in 2020, producing talents such as Jalen Naylor, Jaden Reed, and Keon Coleman. No drama, no inconsistency, just good coaching and results. He seems like he'd be a great voice of reason with plenty of experience for MSU. A solid choice for sure, and probably my favorite if we're going to promote from within. The other in-house option. Harlan Barnett is the current interim head coach and has been involved with the Spartans defense since 2007, with the exception of one year. He's also a former NFL player and would make for an interesting head coach. Would not be a flashy move at all, but they could make it due to his history. We'll see. With regard to Deion Sanders, it's not happening, guys. Just drop it. It would be insane. I would love it, but I just don't see it happening. But with all that being said, I think I'm going to call it quits for today's video. I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed. It does mean a lot to me. definitely helps me out. And if you made it this far, uh, drop a cookie emoji in the comment section. Let me know. I'll heart your comment. Um, definitely also, you know, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see next. I'm always open for suggestions. And I think that'll about do it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.